Hey guys! So today I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you all. It's a portrait that I did of Jesus and this is a time-lapse video of my painting process and I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of how I approach doing portraits. I'd like to start off with a quick pencil sketch, nothing too detailed, just, you know, to show me where the key features are and where it's going to be placed on the canvas itself. And once that's established, I go ahead and just put some colors down um, and try to really observe where the shadows are on the face and where there's highlights and really overall just trying to observe what the face structure of the figure is. And then once that's kind of established and done with, I like to go ahead and paint my surroundings. So even though it's not fully painted in, I think it's still really important that you give yourself some context and whether that's doing the hair or a little bit of the background, it really helps kind of frame the face and while you're working on developing those details, it really helps you to see the whole picture. And I always like to start off with the eye, so going back in and doing some details and trying to really concentrate on observing and understanding, you know, that person's eye, the eye shape, the colors, where is the light hitting it, what are the dark areas, um, things like that. And then once I do one eye, and I usually start off with the uh, right eye, so my right, I like to go to the other eye. And I mean, in between you can see, I'm kind of doing the eye, and then I went in and then I did some uh, shadows on the nose, just kind of going back and forth here and there. But mainly I do want to focus on getting the detail of the eye first. And while you're doing that too, you really want to observe things like the distances between the eyelid and the eyebrow, how much space is there between the two eyes and the bridge of the nose, how thick and wide is it, um, and the shadows as well. So you really want to be careful um, and avoid doing kind of harsh lines because we don't really have lines on our face, right? It's all values. And that's something that you want to be constantly aware of is especially if you want to paint realistically, you don't want to paint in lines per se because it's not going to look lifelike. You really want to try and blend those things out and create depth through shadows and highlights. The eyes are still kind of in progress there, but just to get a better idea of the whole face, I went and did a little bit of the lips and then some of the neck and then just kind of a cleaning up some of the lines I have there on the face and once you blend it all in it starts to slowly look a bit more realistic and I like to reserve black for final details especially the pupil of the eye it really helps make it pop but other than that I don't use black for creating shadow tones because it really does make it look a bit more ashy once you start blending and it's a lot better to use dark browns versus black when it comes to skin tones. And some areas of the face are a bit ashy right now so that's why I'm going back and correcting those areas and just making the cheeks a bit more rosier. And now I'm finally going back and finishing up the other eye and adding in more details. And as you can see, I'm kind of going back and forth between the two eyes because it definitely is a process. So when you start doing one eye, you may see something a bit off in the other one or you want to start adding in more details. So you're going back and forth trying to fix things here and there. And I'm going to go in with a darker brown and paint in the beard and then just some areas of the neck as well. And then the slightest bit of variation 
for your lighter tones can really help establish where the light is hitting the face. So even though it's just a little bit, it really shows where the light source is coming from. And then you just want to make sure that you're blending those values out and it's seamlessly transitioning into the rest of the face as well. And in a time-lapse video, it's a little bit deceiving because the whole process is sped up so fast and in reality, it really does take quite some time to blend your colors out and make it look like a real-life object. So take your time with the process and don't try to rush these little, little tiny details because they really do play such a huge part in making your portrait look lifelike. With the nostrils, you want to be very careful not to overdo them. So with a dark tone, you want to make sure that you're blending that out and so they're just not too circular or oval kind of shapes on the face. And with the lips, you want to be very careful about how you're painting them. So, like I said before, try not to just draw lines for the shapes of the lips, rather paint value on the lips to show where the light falls and where there's darker tones. And of course, don't forget to blend those values out. And for the beard, I like to go in with a very small paintbrush and use light feathery strokes. And I'll go back to that later to clean that up. But for the background, I before I do anything else, I'm painting it in with titanium white. And as you see the end product, you'll see how the outside of the face, the hair and the clothes are very painterly and you can see the strokes and that was the effect that I was going for. So the easiest way to establish this is by painting in all those areas with white and then when I'm adding other colors like the brown and the blue for the clothes, I can easily mix it in with the white and make those brush marks very apparent. So as you see there, as I'm slowly starting to build up the color, I'm slowly adding those colors in and I can blend them on the canvas itself rather than blending colors on my palette. So I wanted to give more detail to the areas around the face, but then as the hair goes outside, so the outer layer, is going to be very, very soft and very kind of subtle almost. And before finishing this up as well, I wanted to make sure that I put the detail in the neck as well to show the shadows and how the formation of the neck is. So just using the same tones that I used for the face as well. And then for this part, just being very careful with how I blend out the beard. Um, so rather than using a whole lot of paint, I'm trying to use what is on the canvas already and just a little bit to just make it more defined, but blending out the hairs as well is very important. So this is what I was talking about a bit earlier. So I'm just going in and really showing the fine hairs around the face but then I'm going to leave the outside edges very soft. And I'm not too concerned with making the hair and the clothes seem hyper-realistic because I really like the effect of letting the brush marks really come through. I think there's something really beautiful with that that gives it a look of a painting. So let me know if that's something that you guys like as well. 
Um, and this is pretty much it for this painting. I hope you enjoyed watching my process and hopefully I was able to share some tips for painting portraits as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!